Hello there, Baxter here, inventor of the Inspector Gadget line. I understand you're interested in learning more about the gadgets I cooked up for Inspector Gadget and G2. Great! Proud to show them to you. Use the arrow keys on your remote control to select IG1 or G2. Press enter and we'll get started. Please select a gadget so I can give you a systematic and diagnostic explanation of it, or at least I'll do the best I can. The original Inspector Gadget. Not perfect, but quite effective. Use the arrow keys on your remote control to select a location, press enter, and I'll tell you all about the gadget attached. And the failure rate of each, cause they make me tell you. My newest invention, Gadget Model 2, or G2 for short. Similar to my original gadget, but all robot, not to mention all woman. She's gadget without the glitches. Isn't she a wonder? Go Go Gadget Helicopter Hat Go Go Gadget Super Satellite Vision Go Go Gadget Wrist Nozzle Go Go Gadget Springs Go Go Gadget Boomerang Air Pistol Go Go Gadget Laser Hole Cutter Go Go Gadget Net Shooter Go Go Gadget Body Separation This is the Helicopter Hat A marvel of aeronautic engineering The blades spin at 150 RPMs and are made of indestructible titanium The handles are used as rudders to steer the device and Inspector Gadget's body is used as ballast to keep him from spinning wildly out of control. Something he often does even without the helicopter hat. Failure rate of the helicopter hat? 36%. This is one of my latest gadgets, Super Satellite Vision. It has a 300 mile range which IG can use to spy on the claw wherever he might be. The only drawback is, IG first has to know where the claw is. But I'm working on that. Failure rate? 46%. The wrist nozzle is used for various purposes. It can spew out many helpful fluids such as axle grease for slipping up perpetrators and glue for sticking it to evildoers. And sometimes it dispenses enough toothpaste for a convention of rhinos. But we'll have that glitch fixed soon. 
Failure rate of the wrist nozzle, 73%. These are IG Super Duper Springs. These are very useful for leaping buildings in a single bound. Er, well, in IG's case, maybe buildings is going a little too far. A small bush is more his speed. Failure rate of the springs? 41%. IG uses the helicopter hat to trim trees and hedges around his yard. And if he flies upside down, it makes a great lawnmower. Not only is the super satellite vision great for spying, it can also pick up all of Gadget's favorite soap operas and cooking shows. If the Chlor was a villain on a soap opera, IG could find him like that. The wrist nozzle is also great for washing cars and upstairs windows, as long as the right fluid comes out. With these springs, IG can get upstairs in his house in less than a second. Of course, he usually goes through the ceiling, but he gets there fast. This is the Boomerang Air Pistol. It's a top-notch weapon, if I do say so myself. The Boomerang is aerodynamically designed to fly accurately up to 100 yards. It has the ability to zero in on a perpetrator within a 1% differential and wrap him up neat as a birthday gift. And it's especially useful for keeping IG under control and out of trouble. Failure rate? 0.4%. Ah, oh, this is one of my newest inventions. This laser hole cutter can attach itself and slice a perfect hole into almost any surface. Glass, steel, even the two foot thick door of a safe. Failure rate? Who am I kidding? It never fails. Oh, it also works great on those so-called easy open potato chip bags which always rip when you try to open them. Don't you hate that? What are these bags made of anyway? This is a great gadget. The large net shooter. With it, G2 can capture up to 20 people in one foul swoop. Great for rowdy gangs, stampeding cattle, and if you're in the mood for seafood, G2 can catch enough tuner all at once to pack 50 cans, no problem. Failure rate? 
Now this is a great trick. Really dazzles him so G2 can get a jump on the perps. Literally. These legs have a black belt all of their own and really pack quite a kick. Failure rate? 0.2%.